Assalamu alaikum and hi. For today, I would like to present my Viva presentation on my FYP project entitled Laser Stratigraphy and Biostratigraphy of Black Shell Faces, Shade Unit of the Semango Formation, North of Kampung Bubu Gajah. First, uh, my content of FYP will be Problem Statement Objectives, Study Area, Methodology, Results, Discussion, and Conclusions and Recommendations. So first, the problem statement is where insufficient publication of the black shell faces shared unit of the Smangol, northern Smangol. Next, we have a few Morocco paleontological assemblage by VAFs conducted or test uh, proved at, uh, at presence in the Smangol Formation northern part. Then, the age variation of the northern area of the Smangol Formation from previous studies. So, the objectives for this study, my, find my study, would be confirm the age, continue the stratigraphic succession, analyze and compare basic petrography, assess the organic content of shale, and improve the construction of the paleo environment. The study area of my, uh, the circle area, red circle, is my study area on the exposed succession of the outcrop. It's originated from the permotarist rock of deep marine origin, uh, cited by Hamdan Noliana, 2019, and it's an abandoned construction site as reported from the locals. The coordinates are given, are given in the slides. And also, it's a moderate to heavily weathered with vegetation and soil seepage. It's quite dirty. The methodology of my research will be some lit uh, literature review from both online and uh, books of regarding mango uh, formation as overall. Field technique of uh, stratigraphic logging and uh, producing base map. Geochemical studies consisting of TOC analysis and also XRD and XRF analysis. Petrography of uh, 15 teen sections for both uh, microfossil potential and also um, the mineral contents of the outcrop. And finally, paleontological studies of the fossils might be uh, mole fossils or body fossils found on the outcrop itself. Next is the result, whereby first it's the analog field site investigation where you can see uh, the, the area is, uh, we can see on the slide. Uh, it's segregated in by BM6 and BM5, whereby the arrow on the black arrow with the base shows the ranging direction as per suggested or advised by my supervisor, Dr. Jose. And also the red fold is a possible drag recumbent fold proposed also by Dr. Jose. That's why we segregated the loggings based on BM6 and BM5, whereby I focus on the BM6 and the previous studies on the BM5. So the results of the stratigraphic logging done at BM6 section shows that we have um, the first lithophasis as identified by as interpreted by me is the sand dominated interbedded with very fine green land sandstone and mudstone and the second uh, lithophasis identified is the mud dominated mud dominated interbedded uh, very fine green sandstone and mudstone with the third lithophasis would be the thick uh, fine sandstone. The identification of this species is quite difficult due to some uh, unidentified uh, beddings in the outcrop itself. Next is the paleontologic species and genera focus of the findings of my outcrop, which first we have the Peribocitra species, Claraya species, and also the Nenola musoni species. So for the Thoracic flat climb chronology distribution, uh, I found out for the BM6 section that uh, it's, uh, the age distribution of the black shale unit, uh, black shale facies switch unit, is from lower Triassic to middle Triassic. Uh, a bit, a slight, dif slight dif different from previous studies of uh, Nuliana Hamdan, which is from lower to upper Triassic findings, uh, age distribution. Next is the total organic carbon content of uh, random sections taken on the BM6 uh, bedding, whereby I have a above average value of all shales, which is generally 0.8% and it reflects that BM6 has moderate amount of organic content. So, uh, however, it's slightly different and contradicts a bit than Nolial Hamdan's previous studies which uh, his BM5 section of the TOC value is around low, low to average which is 0.40% to 0.45%. So, finally, the conclusions and recommendations I can uh, portray in this uh, project is the succession is within the prograding data apparatus The environment has fair to moderate oxygen level, which promotes growth on the miniature uh, bivalves. The BM6 selection, section H ranges within lower Triassic to middle Triassic. A comprehensive, so the recommendations are comprehensive search and study on 
a wider range of macropaleontology assemblage of the bivalve itself should be uh, there. And also to analyze the structural complexity of the substation, which is I highlighted just now, the drag recumbent pole. So that is all for my uh, brief explanation on the uh, on my studies. Do proceed with the next uh, Q and uh, Q and A session. Thank you.